Hi everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us for story time today. My name is Kimberly Swatty and this is um, Topeka Collegiate's Distance Learning Library Program. So we appreciate you all joining, joining us today. For uh, the book that we're going to read today is called All the World and it's a wonderful story <clears throat> by Liz Garten Scanlon. And when we were picking books for this week, we just thought this would be a wonderful way to start considering everything that we're talking about related to COVID-19 and, and really that it is impacting the world. And this book, in fact, has a wonderful positive message. Also joining us, and you can probably hear, uh, are Jackson, Mariner, Evelyn, and Calamarina. So if you hear additional noises, you'll know what that is. Okay, let's get started. Rock, stone, pebble, sand. Body, shoulder, arm, hand. A moat to dig, a shell to keep. All the world is wide and deep. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That seaside view, that cottage. Looks like there's some families and some friends going on a drive and the seagulls. Can't you just hear the waves crashing? Hive, bee, wings, hum. Husk, cob, corn, yum. Tomato blossoms, fruit so red. I love that community garden. All the worlds, a garden bed. Look at that, all of the tomatoes and corn. It's kind of like a farmer's market, isn't it? Beautiful, and you can see all the crops back in the, in the back. Tree, trunk, branch, crown, climbing up and sitting down. Morning sun becomes neon blue. All the world is old and new. That looks like an outstanding tree to climb. And look, there's an older gentleman with a puppy and it looks like he has got a tree in his wagon. I bet he's gonna go plant his tree. Have you guys ever planted a tree before? Wonder what kind of tree that'll turn out to be. And I'm kind of curious, this architecture over here is not exactly the kind of architecture we see in the United States often. So I am kind of wondering, maybe this is in um, the hills of Italy or maybe in Spain. It's awfully lovely. Road, street, track, path, ship, boat, wooden, raft. Oh, I love that fountain. That fountain kind of reminds me of a fountain in New York City in Central Park. Except in Central Park, this portion would be just a park. It wouldn't necessarily be uh, a lake right there. But that is beautiful. Wouldn't that be fun? It'd be fun to really go. I think it'd be fun to go there. Nest, bird, feather, fly. All the world has got its sky. Look at that sky. Look at all these different types of clouds and some are wispy and some are real billowy. And there's all the pigeons, maybe some seagulls because we're by the ocean. Looks lovely. Although that looks like it's a bit more than just a little wind. That looks like it might be pretty strong winds. Uh-oh, slip, trip, stumble, fall, tip the bucket, spill it all. Better luck another day. I think that wind was maybe blowing in a bit of a rainstorm. Look at everyone hurrying, rushing. They're gathering their things, their tricycle and baby in the strollers. And they're trying to pull the, the little boat, the dinghy in from the water. They're running. They've put a towel on their head to try and stay kind of dry. All the world goes around this way. That is a bit of a rainstorm, but rain is so good. It provides a lot of nourishment to our crops, doesn't it? And just cleanses the air. 
Oh goodness, look, you can see back here. Look at that bridge back there. And then there's a bench so people can sit and take in the park when it's not raining. Table, bowl, cup, spoon, hungry tummy, supper soon. Butter, flour, big black pot. Oh my goodness, a pot of soup and some warm rolls after a big storm. That sounds pretty delicious. Look at everyone's coming in from the inside. Or from the outside, they're coming inside. All the world is cold and hot. They say cold and hot, so maybe it's cold outside because of that big storm. But maybe it's hot or warm inside because all of the friends have come inside to have a, a pot of warm soup and those warm buttery rolls. It sounds pretty delicious. Spreading shadows, setting sun. Oh, they're on a tandem mic. Cricket's curtain, day is done. A fire takes away the chill. All the world can hold quite still. Doesn't that look peaceful? I just think that looks like a very peaceful setting. I wonder if you could hear birds. There's a man out here on the dock taking in the sunset after the storm has passed. I wonder what he's thinking about as he's hearing the waves roll in. Nana's, Papa's, Cousin's Kin, Piano, Harp, and Violin. Babies passed from neck to knee. That looks like a bit of a fun jamboree. All the world is you and me. Look at that. Look at the moon and the stars. And you have this wonderful celebration going on back here. They were singing by the by the piano and there's a harp and a violin and some beautiful fruit and some dogs and people are listening and playing and there's a baby asleep and that just looks like a really great time but I love this look at that look at all those stars over the hills just wonderful all the world is you and me Everything you hear, smell, see, all the world is everything, and everything is you and me. Look at all the friends and the families. Oh my goodness, I love this. A porch swing. Do you guys have a porch swing? We do love to sit on our porch swing. It is fun. Hope and peace and love and trust. Look at that sky. It's magical. That's a beautiful, magical, magical sky. All the world is all of us. So I love that book. I love the pictures. You just feel like you're going somewhere really magical. So again, kind of keeping with our around the world theme, I thought we'd read another book called Here We Are, Notes for Living on Planet Earth by Oliver Jeffers. He writes several of my favorite books and this is one of his newest and I just think it is so much fun. So here's the cover and then on the back, I love it. All the people live here. No one lives here yet. What do you think that is? Is that the moon? Yeah. So we've got the North Star, the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper, this is North. Here we are. Notes for living on planet Earth. <laughs> I love this. Our solar system. One of millions scratch out, billions scratch out, trillions. Our solar system is one of trillions. Here we are. Earth. And so it looks like we've got Uranus and Venus and Jupiter, Neptune, Saturn and its rings, the sun, Mercury, Earth, the moon, Mars, Pluto, as he says, our favorite dwarf planet. And then he writes, probably not to scale, 
which is probably true. That's probably not to scale. Well, hello. Welcome to this planet. We call it Earth. It is the big globe floating in space on which we live. We're glad you found us as space is very big. Us and then 238,855 miles that way is the moon. Mars is over here. Another 140 million miles that way. There is so much to see and do here on Earth, but let's get started with a quick tour. The planet is basically made up of two parts, land and the sea. Firstly, let's talk about the land. It's what we're standing on right now. And we know lots about the land. We know volcanoes are really hot. We know it's bumpy. We know it's flat. We know some places are dry. Some places are hot. We know some places are wet. Some places are pointy. And some places are really cold. We know that about the land. <gasps> There's also the sky. Though that can get pretty complicated. I love this. The air we breathe right here. The stratus, the stratus, the stratus thingy, the outer space. The moon spins around. Sometimes the sky is blue. Sometimes it's not. There's wind, there's rain, there's rainbows, there's clouds, there's snow, there's lightning, storm clouds. So our atmosphere, there's stars, constellations, the Milky Way. We know that this, uh, we spin around the sun. We know there's other planets. So there's a lot going on here. So, okay, we're going to move on. On our planet, there are people like you and I. One people is a person. You are a people. You are a person. You have a body, a head, some arms, a brain for thinking, a heart for pumping your blood, a belly, lungs for your breathing air, legs, gotta love the legs, and bones to take us, to hold us all together. Look after your body. Look after it. As most bits don't grow back. The bits that do grow back are your nails and your hair, for the most part. Most important things for people to remember are to eat, to drink, and to stay warm. So he's eating, he's drinking, and he's staying warm by the fire. People come in many shapes and sizes and colors. We may all look different, act different, sound different, but don't be fooled. We are all people. Look at all the differences. I love it. Lots of different people. There are animals too, and they come in even more shapes, sizes, and colors. They can't speak though, but that's no reason not to be nice to them. I love it. You've got the big blue whale. I mean, look at that giraffe with its long neck and an octopus with all of its arms and the beautiful peacock next to a snake, which is, you know, interesting and a little spooky, but gosh, it can do interesting things with its body. And then I love this. There's the dodo bird and he says, I'm not supposed to be here. You may not be able to speak yet either, even though your head is filled with questions, but be patient. You'll learn how to use those words soon enough. Look at that. All of these questions like what are ghosts? What about how do ships uh, float? And, and what is electricity? And uh, mountains are so tall and the, the big, huge whale and strawberries taste really good. Generally, how it works is when the sun is out, it's daytime and we do stuff. 
And then the rest of the time is night when it's dark, except for the moon, and we sleep. Except if you have a little baby in your room and the baby somehow grabs a hammer and is saying, please, like time to get up. But I love it. You can do dancing, playing music, running, reading, uh, doing some gymnastics, going to work, painting, planting a garden, playing hopscotch, all sorts of things to do. Things can sometimes move slowly here on earth. That looks pretty peaceful, doesn't it? Pretty peaceful. You have a cow and there's a gentleman sitting out having a picnic and another person reading a book by a tree and there's a beautiful butterfly. More often though, things move quickly. So use your time well. It'll be gone before you know it, which I know doesn't make sense right now, but it will as you get a little older. Though we have come a long way, we haven't quite worked everything out. So there is plenty left still for you to do. You will figure out lots of things for yourself. Just remember to leave notes so everyone else can remember. Look at that, lots of inventions. Look at all of these inventions. Look at that, the spaceship and the railroad and we've, um, what the dirigible and how to fly an airplane and helicopters and how to build roads and connect people and architecture like the Taj Mahal. We've really done a lot. It looks big, Earth, but there are lots of us on here, about 7.3 billion and counting. So be kind. There is enough room for everyone. Lots of people on Earth. Well, that's planet Earth. Make sure you look after it. It's all we've got. And now if you need to know anything else, just ask. I won't be far away. And when I'm not around, you can always ask someone else. There are lots of people that are here to help. You are never alone on Earth never alone on earth. I love this. Uh, Oliver, the author's dad, he says, there are only three words you need to live by. Respect, consideration, and tolerance. And Dr. Sally Ride, who uh, was an astronaut and a physicist, she also said, looking back and seeing your planet as a planet is an amazing feeling. It's a totally different perspective and it makes you appreciate actually how fragile our existence is. I just love these stories and I think that they are an important reminder that we are just one part of a really big world and we all have a part to play. So take care everybody. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and have a great day.